Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an app for the iPhone or the iPod Touch for you called PhotoBox. Now this is a photo Facebook application with a lot of integration built into it. So we open up the app here and you can see it's going to take us straight to My Photos. Now this has uh, any of our tagged photos, anything from the recent feed, any photos that we've liked within the application, and then all of our photo albums as well. So in this section here, we can uh, press this little button. We can log out of Facebook because we, first we have to log in when we first uh, use this application. We can share this app, rate it, or learn more about it. Uh, with this little camera button, we can actually take a photo and upload it. We can choose a photo from our camera roll, or we can even batch upload. And that's something that I really uh, like with this. We can uh, just choose some in here, you know, batch upload them, just select as many as we want and uh, it will retrieve our albums for us and we can choose which album we want to put them in and anything like that. We can view our tagged photos in here and say we wanted to pull one up. We could actually untag ourselves, which is a neat feature. I, have not, I haven't seen it in uh, any other application like this. So we can actually untag ourselves from a photo if maybe it's an embarrassing one or something like that or if we just don't like it. Just press that and it will untag us. And we can actually add different effects to these photos. We can have the original which is just the original coloring. We have different uh, filters here. And in this more section, we can uh, add some different effects. You can see here we have a ton of different effects that we can add uh, onto it. We can change the orientation if we need to rotate it. We can crop it. We can draw on it or even add text. And then we can save it, and it'll actually save it uh, in our application for us right here in our saved photos. Now, once we save a photo from here, we can go into these and view them. It will sort them by uh, album for us wherever we save them. And we can even view our friend's photos. So say we have one in here and we wanted to view a friend. We could just come in here, scroll down to any one of our friends here, and uh, view their pictures. So say I wanted to come in and view uh, this friend's pictures, it will load them up for me. I can view their tagged photos or any uh, album that they have on here and the thumbnails will load as well. Now something neat about this application too is it has this little uh, button here. I can actually download all of the photos in an album uh, straight to my device. So that's uh, really neat. So if I wanted to come press this button, it will download all of my cover photos uh, that I put in here. There's only five so that's why I chose that one. I'll just kind of show you real quick uh, what it'll do, and it will actually download them all, and then I could uh, add different filters to them, or I can save them, or even uh, message them to people, so I don't have to take a screenshot of a photo or something like that. It'll actually download the whole photo for me, so it'll be a uh, better quality than a screenshot uh, like that as well. So I can come in here. Uh, if there were any that I let finish saving, it would be in there as well for me. So this is a really neat application that's going to be a really integrated with Facebook. Uh, you can actually even, on a photo, add uh, likes or comments or things like that. All we'd have to do is select one. Here's one with me and Sonic uh, the Hedgehog. Uh, all we have to do is wait for it to load up. Now these are going to be f slower or faster based on your uh, internet settings. We can actually like and add comments right w from within the application, so that's neat as well. So once again, this application is available for the iPhone or the iPod Touch. It's called PhotoBox. If you like it, be sure to pick it up in the App Store.